Hello everyone. Today our motivational topic is never react if someone hurts you. Learn to act as if nothing hurts you. Getting hurt by others is inevitable. It feels lousy and sometimes that bad feelings last and last. Forgiveness in the most elemental term. To forgive is to let go of bad feelings or the desire for revenge after you have been harmed. You are letting go of your internal bitterness, resentment and self-pity over an experience that's in the past. That most of the reasons to forgive are for your own welfare. When you are remembering a heart or a wound that you have not resolved in the, your mind and heart, that remembrance triggers stress chemicals. It triggers physical distress. When you remember it often, you are stressing your body on a chronic basis. That has a physical cost. While forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean reconciling with the people or the person who hurt you. It's especially important in the relationships you want to keep. I think our culture has focused in the other directions, which is that forgiveness is most important around relationships that you don't want to keep. The real need for forgiveness is in marriage, families, business relationship, friendship between siblings. When someone hurts you, grief and anger are natural and healthy responses. So is self-pity and there is no set time for how long it takes to work through and process the heart. Forgiveness is allowing negative feelings of outrage and grief to come in and then letting them go because you are now at peace with your life. Constructive anger resolves a problem in the moment by galvanizing you so that you respond appropriately to a threat. Destructive anger is repetitive and has no positive results. The person you are angry at is not changing and you are not growing. In fact, you are creating brain pathway that make the anger more likely. When anger becomes a habit rather than a way of processing or when you hold on to it for a really long time, it turns out to be destructive both to your physical well-being and to the people around you. No good comes of it. It's a misuse of one of your biological coping mechanisms. One of the biggest misconceptions about forgiveness is that it means you are condoning the offender's behavior. In fact, forgiveness means that you don't condone it. You know it wrong or inappropriate, but you choose to cleanse your heart. You don't make excuse for the behavior. You just accept it and make peace. That's very different. If you are at the table and a family remembers or member says something hurtful, says one of the simplest things you can do is to take a couple of breaths, stress management techniques, soothing your body's fight or flight response so you stay calm and keep your head. When someone you care about acts in a way that is hurtful to you but you want to keep the relationship, it's important to remember the good the person has done for your life. People are not replaceable. It's important to remind yourself that you have one father, one mother, one best friend in your life. Adds that this doesn't mean people should stick around for mistreatment or stay in a bad or unhealthy relationship. It does mean that successful relationships are hard to cultivate and maintain if you are holding grudges, keeping score or thinking about way to make someone pay for something he or she did.
just about every relationship that you have ever been in requires some forgiveness to maintain itself. Everyone is flawed and our perceptions are too so getting hard is inevitable. You have to have a mechanism for letting it go and making peace in order to have happy, sustainable relationships. When you have been hurt by someone, you have a relationship with some gentle boundary setting may be in order, but that doesn't mean calling people out, blaming them or disowing them. Learn how to simplify, say, what you just did is not okay. Our brains are designed to keep us safe from danger. And so a lot of the stories we tell ourselves are not accurate. We simplify to acts or the threats we create these distortions in our head to keep us safe. So if you have been telling yourself a story that five years ago your friend do not invite you to her wedding and it was a terrible offense that you are still smarting over. Consider that perhaps the two of you were in a rough patch. So attributing your presence distress to something that happened in the past is a way of making yourself a victim. So when you tell yourself the only one who is going to rescue me is me, that creates a kind of heroic efficiency that says. So I can understand that you have gone through something really bad. Do not lose hope. Things do happen for a reason. Every individual has their own reasons and justifications, but remember your inner peace is within you. You determine your happiness. Don't waste it thinking about people who act like nothing happened. As a friend, I would suggest you to go around, meet new people, make someone smile, light up someone's life. It's after all a short life and all of us are gonna die someday. I understand that the person might have caused you pain. Life is too short to hold grudges, spread love and happiness. Hope the person realizes your true value as I can feel that you are surely a gem of a person. So be happy in your life and thanks for watching my videos.